Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple voice preset using Steinberg's PadShop Pro. Okay, so let's get started. First, I made a stereo vocal sample. I sang the word two. Two. All right, that's our sample that we are working with today. So next, I exported the file to the user sample folder called My Vocal Samples, and I named the file 2 underscore C3. After that was finished, I imported the file into PadShop Pro. So since I sang the vocal sample in C3, we don't have to change anything here. Okay, check to see if the loop is activated. Two. Now change the amount of grains to 3. After that, change the spread to 31% and the offset to 36%. Now let's change the starting point to 3.4% so we can get the T sound at the beginning of the sample to sound better. Alright, the next step Let's turn the key follow to 0%. OK. And now let's turn the playback speed to 0.1%. OK, let's check out how it sounds now. And now the higher octaves. Okay, as you can hear when playing the higher octaves, the sample starts sounding like chipmunks. So here is how you can get rid of the vibrato on just the higher octaves to make a more playable patch. Let's start by changing the duration to 237.22 and the spread to 0.10%. Okay, let's take a listen to what it sounds like now. As you can hear, the sample is still playing the vibrato at the end. So now let's add a key follow command. Now let's add grain duration, then set the amount to minus 47.5. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like now. That's much better. Let's add some chorus. And let's turn the mix to Okay, let's add some reverb. So click this button here. Now let's change the reverb level to minus 5 dB. All right, let's add a mod wheel command. 
select mod wheel, LF1, then green format. Change grain format to 0.41%. Okay. Now that is finished, let's speed up the rate of the LFO. All right, let's listen to what it sounds like now. Okay, the mod wheel command is finished, and that is all for this tutorial on how to build a simple voice patch with Patch Up Pro. See you next time.